Hi everybody, my name is Scott Walls. For over 25 years, I've deployed ERP applications for some of the world's largest organizations. During that time, I've taught thousands of people just like you how to discover, use, deploy, and support Oracle's back office software. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you the supplier application within Oracle's procurement cloud offering. More specifically, what is a supplier, a supplier contact, what is spend authorized versus perspective, what are suppliers or rather when are suppliers created, how, by whom, and why. This lesson is part of the supplier course found within the procurement functional area under the discover menu. But before we get started, did you know that you could earn free discovery badges for display on your LinkedIn profile just by watching videos like this one? You can. Stay until the end of this video and I'll show you how. Okay, so let's get started. Key topics for this lesson are as follows. What is a supplier? Supplier types. When are suppliers created? How are suppliers created? Who creates them? And why are they created? First topic, what is a supplier? A supplier is a person or business that provides a product or service to another entity. A payee is a person to whom money is paid or to be paid, especially the person to whom a check is made payable. In any instances where an agreement or contract takes place, one party would be considered the counterparty. Second topic, supplier types and subtypes. FPC, or what we call in slang, Fusion Procurement Cloud, has two supplier relationships, or broadly what we think of as types, spend authorize and perspective. In short, perspective is like a bidder, whereas spend authorize is in slang usually referred to as wide open, full out, whatever. So a spend authorized supplier can participate in sourcing just like a perspective, but they can also be enabled for contracting, ordering, invoicing, and paying. Third topic, when are suppliers created? So we'll stay with the procurement services overview that we use always when explaining when the you are here, if you will, kind of map. So when you have purchasing and you're looking for content and adding content to cart and submitting for approval, well, you've already negotiated your content, so you already have a supplier. It's when you don't have negotiated content you use a non-catalog request, and the first step is usually to go out and find who that supplier is going to be. Fourth topic, how are suppliers created? And so there's any number of ways that the supplier gets created in Fusion or Oracle Cloud. First, obviously, manually. Second is a process called registration. Registration is often thought of as creating a supplier. It's not, it's its own transaction. In fact, you could have prospective supplier registration or spend authorized supplier registration. It's only when those registrations are approved that you have suppliers in the supplier records. So you obviously have internal and external registration and you can import suppliers. And there's any number of different places where you can upload suppliers um, using FBDI. Who or what creates suppliers? So you can see a number of different roles here on the left, suppliers, requesters, requesters, suggest, supplier administrators, supplier managers. So these are initiators and they will often create suppliers or registration transactions. Those go through an approval process. And then when they're officially approved or this process of promoting, so when you have a prospective that's being made to now be spend authorized, that process is called promotion. And there's usually some kind of notification back out to that supplier. So six topic and last topic, why are suppliers created? Well, usually you've got seven different reasons. Purchasing transaction payee, we need to pay somebody. You could have a one-time payee, a third-party payee. You have bidders involved in the sourcing process, contractual counterparties. You have supplier profile administrators. So when there's a supplier and they may have lots of different contacts, you have the option using Fusion of having somebody at the supplier manage those contacts. And so that's supplier profile administrator. And then lastly, you have a self-service catalog administrator. So I can have a BPA 
I can enable that to be authored or rather the lines on that BPA to be authored by somebody at my supplier. And so I would have to give them access for that, but that's why. So let's recap. You should now understand the what, how, when, where, who, and why of suppliers and contacts. You should understand a little bit about types and subtypes. We talked about those, perspective, etc. And then you should also understand this whole idea of spend authorized versus perspective. Still not sure? Watch it again. It's free. But if you understand the material, it's time to move on to the next lesson in this course. So that's the end of this presentation, but it doesn't have to be the end of your learning journey. There are thousands of free videos just like this one. Remember, better content, better skills, better income, better life. We want to help you get 1% better every day. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Okay, as promised, here are the five steps you can perform today to start earning free badges for your LinkedIn profile. Step one, navigate to panamir.com and either sign in or join now. It's free. Step two, in the upper left, under the Discover menu, select the course that you want to watch and get badged for. Step three, watch all of the different video lessons in that course. Step four, when it's complete, send your LinkedIn profile and the course you watched and your user ID to badges at panamir.com. And then sit back and wait for step five when we attach a badge to your LinkedIn profile.